We're pleased to be joined by Tony Kemp of the Oakland A's. He'll play infield. He'll play outfield. He was in the outfield to start things last night. You guys, mm. tough loss last night. What's it like? You jump out to the big league, and as the Yankees, as they have been wont to do this year, come from behind. What's it like when you can see it start to turn there at that stadium? Yeah, um, you know, Paul had a good outing. Uh, I just feel like uh, when you're playing the Yankees, you have to minimize your mistakes, and uh, you know that's why uh, they're a good team. You know, they they play their full nine innings. They don't just play the first three and yeah. coast. Uh, you know, they finish ball games, and you know we had a couple rough innings, and they were able to get us. You know, sometimes when you look at a season, obviously people in baseball know what's happened with the A's. They're mm -hmm. trading guys and pairing back payroll, et cetera, and there's a stadium issue. But boy, you know, watching two in the same inning. Not to drill down on this, it's not all about, you know, Sean mm -hmm. Murphy and, and the catcher interference, but yep. it's one thing you see one, two yeah. in the same inning against the Yankees at Yankee Stadium, and you guys are, oh, man, I'm watching, I'm like, no, that didn't just happen, and sure enough. Yeah, and, you know, Mercer, gold glover. Oh, yeah. So, no. uh, and, you know, he cares a lot. Our lockers are next to each other right now, so you can just tell, you know, how much he, you know, truly felt bad for the, so tight those in there, pitchers. Tony. Yeah, I mean, you got to think about those. You got to think about those guys swinging too. Yeah, that's uh, what Sean you know, said. He said, "I, un yeah. you know, you can underestimate just how big, big. Judge and Stanton are, and he's yep. just got to be more aware of that." Yeah, and you know, don't know how many guys that are walking up to the plate six 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 seven. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you could tell that Murph definitely felt <laughs> felt six, bad. Six six seven. What the heck you asked? Five <laughs> five six five six. Huh? <laughs> so he did a piece earlier on uh, O'Neill Cruz. Cruz. Oh, about, you know, he's going to be special. That dude. I mean, six foot seven. Could you imagine throwing 97, 98 across the diamond and hitting balls? One. I think you guys have a little commercial going on here. Maybe one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, jobs. I think I might have to hit a ball twice just to hit it as hard as him. <laughs> Seriously, I might to have add to. up to what he. Yeah, his exit velo for sure. We you, we had you on earlier this year. I remember, and and obviously, as as Al mentioned, this this team is a bit franchise in bit of a transition mm -hmm. here. Uh, Mark Kotze is the brand new manager. What has that? experience been like for for everyone as you guys try to together navigate through these uh, through this time and sometime tough time part of 2022. Yeah you know Cots being our third base coach from last year now stepping into the manager role I think it's been you know a good transition so far I feel like right now we're just trying to get the uh, pieces together on a team you know I can't remember how many times that we've had uh, you know rookies make their debut this year and uh, you know what it takes for uh, these guys to come together, but Cots at the at the top's been unbelievable. Uh, you know he's played 15 plus seasons in the big league, so he understands what it's like uh, the day in, the day out, the grind, and uh, you know not even just physically, but mentally. You know what yeah. you uh, are, are thinking mentally. So uh, he's been one of those guys that's been in your corner, and uh, he never gives up on us. And uh, he has the confidence that we need in the manager. And uh, I think. He knows what it takes to be in Oakland A. You know, I love being there with the guys. I think it's um, a group that can really shine. Uh, we just have to get uh, the guys who haven't been in those big situations, mm -hmm. those high leverage innings, um, you know, to settle down. And, you know, on the offensive side, we haven't really been, you know, doing what we did last year. So, um, you know, I feel like everybody's still putting their work in and yeah. uh, doing what they need to do. Uh, so I say this uh, from afar. I have been enamored with and impressed with the Oakland A's for years mm -hmm. of low payroll. You look at their roster, of course, you know, do they have superstar guy making 30 million? No, um, but every year, last year, 86 and 76. You know, this year it looks like it's not gonna be uh, great unless you guys uh, kick it, but um, what is this? Is there something there? I know you started with the Astros. Yeah. You go over to the A's and I watch these games, I'm like, you know, they win, they win, they yeah. keep winning. Like, is there, a, you know, the little engine that could forget everybody else out there? You know, we know we're good. Like, what has it, what have you seen? You've been there for a couple years. Yeah, so this is my third season with third the A's. Season. I feel like what they do well is they bring guys in who, you know, the talent level is is there, and the payroll on that side doesn't have to necessarily be so big. Uh, but I feel like... They bring guys in that really don't care about the the shiny objects. You know, it's, hey, this is Oakland. We play hard and, you know, we play to win. And I feel like that is the culture that I was kind of brought into and uh, still try to instill on guys that who are coming in who are younger. So uh, I feel like that's always been like the mantra. Because you're that guy league. now. Yeah. So. You know, I know yeah, so. you got a couple more years of free agency, but when you play in a few years and whether it's every day or not, 
and now you see the younger crop of players, you're the one, you know, yeah. you're the one they're looking to. So, okay, <laughs> what do we got? Yeah, I feel like it's been um, a cool transition to see, you know, how those guys view me now versus, you know, coming as, as a rookie. So uh, it's very cool to see what those guys have to offer. It's cool to see, uh, you know, their development and the younger guys, you know, now being 30 in the game, it's, uh, you can see how the game has definitely changed. Guys are throwing harder. Um, and, uh, you know, you want to get your hits off the, uh, the the starter because those relievers that are coming <laughs> in are so well, good. <laughs> you know what? I know you don't play every day, at least yeah. to, with respect to your career and, and at bats and plate mm -hmm. appearances, but what is the hardest thing for you? Yeah, I think it's the, the day in, day out, uh, making sure that you know what pitcher, what the pitcher has. Uh, if you're not starting, you're coming in off the bench cold and making sure that when you do get into the game that – uh, you can go into the flow of the game and, you know, sometimes your body hurts more the next day because once you get that pinch hit, you're going into the game and it's like that natural adrenaline that kind of just takes over and then you wake up the next day and it's, you feel like you played nine innings, but you really only yeah, played yeah. two, so. <laughs> yeah, what uh, are you complaining about? You're only in the Exactly, two. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, um, no, I just love being the, um, I feel like I can just bring a lot to a clubhouse and uh, it's been fun to see what it takes to be, uh, not just a role guy, but a platoon guy into an everyday guy and to a guy who can just go in there, have a good at-bat, and play good defense.